What's going on guys? Welcome back to another scary story video. Today guys, I am pleased to let you know we have a special guest with us today. Today we Nine. have... Hello. Bo Young's World. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. It's been a while since actually Bo Young's been featured in any of my videos and I've been in any of her videos, but guys, relax. We're still hanging out. We're still friends. We still see each other almost every day because we work together. Since you guys seem to enjoy when I have guests appear in my scary story videos, I thought it might be fun for you guys to see how Bo Young would react to seeing one of these scary stories herself. Self. Self. Are you ready? Oh yeah, and before we begin, uh, so what's your uh, what's your channel about? Your uh, yeah. My channel is about Boyang. <laughs> it's Boyang's work. I do comedy, beauty, vlog, sometimes mukbang, and more. So if you guys want to check out Boyang's channel, and you definitely should, I'm gonna leave all of her links down below in the description. And without further ado, let's get started. Today we are gonna be reading a story called "I Black Dress." Now, of course, it was translated from Korean to English, so I'm not sure if the title exactly translates the right way. By Bori Chung, A.K.A. Chung Bori, depending on where you are. Okay, so I skimmed through the story just really quickly to look at the characters to see who we would be playing. She's going to be playing this girl who wears this black dress, hence the title, and I'm going to be playing her friend. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. I'm going on a trip to Italy. Ooh. Yeah. Why Italy all of a sudden? So it seems two girls are talking at a <laughs> cafe. The girl on the left is me, the girl on the right is played by Boyang, and she's wearing a lot of black. I've become a travel addict now. I want to go and really enjoy my youth. Well, there's no cure for addiction, but where are you getting the money for the trip? Ha ha ha. That wasn't even funny. But okay. I'm using the money I made from tutoring, plus my parents' credit card. Using your parents' man? What the heck? This is my friend Cheryeon Hyuk. Cheryeon Hyuk? That's a really rare last name. Hyuk? Mm hmm. Why? Because it sounds Hyucky? Was that cheesy? Nobody got that? All right. When are you leaving? In three days. Everything Cheryeon owns, from her clothes to her accessories and her belongings, is black. Her lips, nails, and even her hair. I'll bring you back a souvenir. Even her favorite drinks are coffee or Coke. Coca-Cola, mind you. Dang, so why do you like black so much? Cause I'm black. Have fun, watch out for pickpockets while you're there. She only eats black beans and black rice. Her favorite foods are garlic black bean sauce noodles and dry fish with black beans. Holy black, dude, this girl eats nothing but black stuff. Yeah, these are a couple of outfits I guess you've worn. Blacking it up, okay. I don't know how she can be so crazy about the color black for 365 days a year. Oh man, look at you. Even when it's like getting cold out, your jackets, your winter accessories, everything's just black, same, black, black. Same face though. Oh yeah! Look at her face, guys. Boom, boom. Same face. And ready? You ready? 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 Boom. Same face again. Even the way we first met. Hey, Yu Jung. Your pupils are so black. Huh? It looks like we've come to a flashback back when the two girls first met. It looks like they're still in school wearing school uniforms. So obviously they are still in school. That was redundant. Well, my pupils are red. I'm jealous. Most people's eyes have at least a bit of brown in them, but yours are completely black. Oh yeah, look, my pupils are completely black, dude. What's wrong with me? Why? I want your eyeballs, cause they're so black. Oh, okay. I, I think she's still in character. When Bo Young reads scary <laughs> stories, she goes in character, man. Wanna be friends with me? Huh? Was like this. Well, Cheren is definitely an unusual girl, but I don't mind. What black foods are you going to eat in Italy? I found a restaurant where the squid ink pasta is supposed to be good. It's not like she forces me to like black too. I'll have to get some liquor ice candy and jelly too. Liquor rice? Liquid rice. Liquor rice jelly? That pitch black stuff? I hear a lot of people don't like it. And it's fun being together. She continues telling us about her friend and how they met. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to I, Black Dress by Bori <laughs> Chong. Okay, well, I mean, so far there's nothing wrong with liking black. I mean, unless she's like a demon or something. Two weeks later. Ciao, Yu Jung. <laughs> her black loving friend waves at her as she departs. Italy was a blast! Never mind, she didn't depart. She's returning. Chedin came back from her trip. Here's your present. I bought you a bracelet from a leather market in Florence. Wow, thanks. They said it was handmade. Ooh, handmade? Well, then it's gotta be top quality. Hey, Italian guys are something else. They blow your kisses right in the street. Ha ha ha. Wow, so that's true? Huh? But 
Why are you wearing a dress today? You've never liked dresses before. I didn't used to, but I felt drawn to it in an antique shop in Italy. So I bought it. Oh, why so long? The shop owner told me a long time ago, there was a lunatic who wanted to make a fabric like nothing else in this world. So he peeled up people's skin and crowned it up. Do you know what you just read? Doesn't that like surprise you a little bit? No, it's Yozo. She's still in character, guys. Still in character. And this is the dress that he made. Ta-da! That's ridiculous. Why would someone put skin in a dress? He must have just been trying to scare you. Yeah, probably. Or it was an urban legend. Sk, sk. Uh-oh, guys, the ska is back. We all know what that means. Just then, snap. Still, after hearing that story, the fabric really does feel like a little kid's skin. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Okay, so what do we have here? Bo Young just, or sorry, uh, Bo Young's character just came back from Italy wearing a new dress and she doesn't even like dresses. And she said that the maker of the dress took people's skin to make it. And the girl literally just said it feels like a kid's skin. What is wrong with her? Isn't it better than a uh, old? Old, old, It's really, old, really old. Old, <laughs> old male skin. Okay, if it's that old, anything's better than that. It feels like it's alive and breathing, not just fabric. It fits my body so well that I want to just keep wearing it. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, a little too in character. <laughs> Thank you, though. <sighs> my character shivers as she doesn't even know what to make of her best friend who had just come back from a trip to Italy. It seems that she's completely changed. You're going overboard with this thing. Sk, sk. Cherian's vintage black dress that I touched for a moment was so cold to the touch that it made my hand shiver even on that hot day. Oh. It felt strangely soft, like it was sticking to my hand. That's when Cherian started changing. Changing? Man, she already been changing. Later that day, or later another day, we're back in school. Step, step, Cherian. Whisper, 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 whisper. Doesn't it seem like that Cherian girl has gotten even freakier? She wears the same clothes for a month? Doesn't she wash it? That's so nasty. Whisper, whisper. Oh, geez, I'm not even whispering. Maybe she bought a few of the same dresses. Whisper, whisper. Like hell she did. She bragged about buying that one dress in Italy. Whisper. Plus, lately, she's been so grumpy. <laughs> it was creepy enough that she only wore that black dress before, but now she's gone nuts. She's lost so much weight. Has she gotten oversensitive from dieting? Don't be ridiculous. Dieting doesn't justify her being so grumpy with other people. Okay, I just noticed that the whole bunch of people talking are girls, and I've just been doing, like, the douchebag voice. But you know what? It's okay. You know what? It works, because, you know, the, we have lady douchebags. They don't have eyes. Okay. They're so, scary. So that, just, that justifies the douchebag voice. There we go see all good okay my character seems to be behind this crowd seeing and noticing that people are talking negatively about her friends changes I don't even have anything to say my character just stands there in silence Cherian hey I need to talk to you tap tap she makes her way towards her friend look I know you like that dress but you must be sweating from the hot summer weather and you should really wash it so why don't you change into something else? And are you sick? You've been getting really thin lately. Mind your own business. What doesn't matter to you? Huh? Oh, what happened to you? You just went to Italy. People love Italy. I'm never going to Italy now. This dress is mine. It's me. Okay, I believe you. I don't doubt that. It's my body. This is my vegetarian body. Shiver. <gasps> My character gasps at the sight of her friend and the sudden outburst that she wasn't expecting. <gasps> <gasps> She huffs and huffs away, leaving me and my character in awe. Since Cheren put on that dress, she started getting very irritable and lost tons of weight almost daily. Oh man, yeah dude, look at her. She has gotten really thin, but that black dress always fit her body just perfectly. So she's getting thinner, but the dress still fits her like all the time? Yeah, because I washed it 100 times. Phew, maybe Cheren really is sick. It's not just her personality that changed. Her body is getting so thin. Ugh. The girl sits by herself later that night, wondering about her lost friend. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Oh, it's Cheren. She's calling me. Hello? Cheren? Yuzun, help me. Cheren, what is it? What's wrong? The, the dress. <sighs> it's eating me. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Okay. What, because we're on the phone? All right, fine. You know what? Let's put our phones away. It's a little overdramatic. Okay. Help me. I'm scared. It hurts. It hurts. 
It hurts! Oh my gosh. I knew there was something up with that dress, dude. It's freaking... That's why she's getting skinnier. It's eating her. Yum, yum, yum. Yu Jung rushes over to Che Dian's apartment. The place is trashed. Che Dian? Che Dian! Hey! Chadian! She runs over looking for her best friend, and just then, she finds her leaning down on the floor. Are you alright? What's going on? Yu Jung! <laughs> oh, oh, jeez, oh, that sound effect. Yu Jung! Uh... Oh my gosh, dude, you are hideous! Oh! Help! Oh! Yu Jung gasps in horror at what's become of her friend. This dress won't let me go. Creep. It feels like I'm cutting my own body whenever I try to cut it with scissors. Man, then don't cut it. Ah! Yu Jung gasps and plops back on the floor. Oh man, dude, she reaches out her really skinny now hand and it's like cracking. Ah! Ah, okay, get easy on the hands. The dress is literally eating her alive. Help me! Please! Oh my gosh, that sound! Can you stop? <laughs> Yu Jung sweats profuriously as her friend continues reaching out for her, but just then, huh, thud, she passes out on the ground. A little bit later. Oh my god, young lady, beast! Hey! Ow, Flash! Huh, huh. Oh, you're awake! Are you okay? I heard a strange sound and rushed over here, but the door was open and you're alone here on the floor. Ugh, what the hell happened? Uh, Cherian. Just then, Yu Jung remembers her friend. What is that? Blood? Did someone get hurt? A trail of blood lurks around the floor, and it seems to be leading out the window. Okay. Cherian. Oh my gosh, dude, what the heck? Outside the building. Jeez, what the hell? What's wrong? Hey, isn't that a person hanging up there in that tree? Two men outside who are smoking look up and see something in the tree. A person? <laughs> Man, you're such a wussy. That's not a person. It's just some clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. There's a dress hanging on the tree that looks like a person. Wait, so I saw it wrong? I was sure it was a ghost or something. He puts out his cigarette. Enough with the ghost crap. Let's just get in the car and go. The two men get in their car and drive off. However, in the tree, it was actually... <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. She... Ah, she's still alive. How did she get in the tree? Oh, she jumped out the window and landed in the tree. But the dress is still eating her. Oh, and then she falls out of the tree and... Oh, man, dude. And that is the end of the story. Wow. 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 What did you think? Exactly. My thoughts, too. Oh, man. I'm just, like, wondering if, like, her friend, like, if she hadn't had passed out, like, if she still would have lived, even though the black dress dragged her out the window and she fell into a tree. I mean, she was still alive. But, of course, she fell out of the tree and probably fell to her death. So, you're dead. I'm sorry. You're probably dead. But at least I'm skinny. <sighs> Guys, let me know what you think about this story down below in the comments. I really liked it. It was a little bit longer than normal, but you know what? I think it was well worth it. Is that ending what you expected? Did you expect the dress to be eating her? Oh yeah, because I already read it. Oh yeah, dude, you already read it. Is it different than how you remembered it, especially reading it in English versus when you read it in Korean? It's the same. I really like the part where I got skinny. Guys, if you want to check out Bo Young's channel, I'm going to leave her link down below. Definitely go check her out if you have time. Also, let me know what you guys think about this story down below in the comments. Mm -hmm. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, toast Good and potato. Night.